Hey there, it's uh, Nick again here, and uh, we're continuing with our tutorial on Motion 5 and animating a 3D cube to create a, uh, a cool title effect. So, uh, if you're not up to speed, you may want to follow along with part 1 and 2 of this tutorial where I explained how we built our 3D cube out of 2D objects in 3D space using uh, the tools in motion. Uh, we added lights and then we've uh, added a camera and animated our cube. So we've got this cube spinning onto the screen. Um, so the next thing I want to do is add a um, title bar coming out of here. So what we're going to do is we'll add a new group and we'll call this our title bar group. Um, so you just hit the, the new group button here. So this is our cube group. See so if we hide that, we'll hide the whole cube. If we expand it, you can see the six faces of the cube that we have um, making up our 3D object. So this is our new group here, which we're calling the um, title bar. So uh, after frame 15, our cube is fully on the screen. And I'm going to just go here and I'm going to create a new uh, rectangle. I want to change our camera angle to the um, to the front where our cube spins on from. There we go. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle on this plane here. So we'll draw a rectangle. There, let's go back to our 3D view. Hold on. Uh, let's get our rectangle tool and we'll draw it. Yeah, we'll draw it in 3D, it's just easier. And we'll reposition it afterwards. So there's our, uh, this is going to be our title bar. Now, you can't see it very well because at the moment it's not lit. We don't have any, any lighting effects for it. Um, so I'll add in an ambient light just to give us some uh, some light on that okay so you can see that our, our title bar here is um, it's not quite in line with the cube uh, right now so we'll go to our um, top-down view And we just want to line this up with our cube. So we're also going to need to go to a to a side view here. And you can see our um, rectangle is not uh, aligned properly. It's slightly rotated. So we'll go into our um, geometry, uh, um, sorry, properties and into the rotation. I want to set all these back to zero so that our rectangle is nicely done and aligned. Makes it easier lining everything up. So let's drag this back into our screen here. So we're gonna to want to rotate it 90 degrees that way. So now it's nicely aligned there and you can position it so that it's just touching the edge of the cube there. Let's go back to our shape properties, we'll give this a color, we want it to be the same color as our cube. Um, we'll also give it an outline as well and now geometry, I'm going to round those corners also. There, so there's our uh, title bar. Let's just stretch it out a little bit. Okay. Now I can remove the, uh, the ambient light. Let's change that now to a spotlight also. I want that spotlight to point down our uh, 
there and let's rotate it Move it that way there we go okay so now our title bar is lit as well color to match all right so you see our title bar is uh, appearing so we'll just drag that back so it's there at the, at the beginning okay so here's our animation now we've got the cube spinning on and it's meeting our title bar um, now what I want to do is have the title bar actually appear out of the cube after the cube is spun onto the screen so we're going to use our keyframe animation again. So we'll select our rectangle. And we're going to want to adjust its um, properties. We're going to scroll down to crop. Turn cropping on. Then we're going to crop it from the right hand side. Sorry, from the uh, left hand side. Yes, yeah, so we crop it in like this. And we keep on going until we've cropped the whole of the rectangle and basically it can no longer be seen and this we add a keyframe for so this is our first keyframe at frame number one then we'll scroll forward to frame number 15 and we add a keyframe again at the crop now on frame number 16 and onwards, we're going to go up to, say, frame 35. We want to drag that crop back to zero. So now, if we play our sequence, we've got the title bar appearing after the cube is spun on. So almost like it's growing out of the cube. And that title bar is where we're going to place our text. So uh, that's how we uh, can animate the, the crop function um, of the um, title bar that we're going to display our text in or, or, the, or the title. Um, let's just move, position our camera a little bit. Yeah. So there's our title bar, which we'll put, place the text on later. So I hope that uh, this was informative for you on um, how we can animate the, um, the title bar onto the screen. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll go on to adding the text and then how we can then animate the title bar off of the screen. Um, so basically, we're going to want to kind of run this animation in reverse so, so everything goes off the screen nicely. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for tuning in.